Hey everybody, um, I may look a little crazy. Um, and that is because I'm going to be filming a tutorial for you guys today. Um, it's sort of a one brand and within the brand a, um, make sure my phone, okay, phone's on silent. Um, within the brand, it is a specific uh, line within the brand tutorial. So it is Physician's Formula Sexy Booster. There is a little bug flying around, sorry. Let's start going along the roses because there's a bug like right here. Um, anyways, I um, this part of the line for Physicians Formula has been out for uh, maybe like sorry I can't do this because I can see the bug. Um, it's been out for I think uh, at least a year, maybe two years, um, and I've accumulated just about everything in it. I'm gonna do a separate review on it um, for everything that I have and what I think is worth it and what I think is kind of just mm, whatever. Like you can skip getting it, it's not really that great of a deal. Cause they did just come out with a couple more new um, uh, products, items for the Sexy Booster line. Um, so I've done kind of one side of my face in the interest of time. So I will continue on and do this so that I can um, just get into how I do the final look. I'm doing more of a, like a full dramatic eye with a red lip from the line. Um, just because that's, I think that's kind of the point of it is a little more drama. So it's a little bit more intense, dark eye. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish my blush just so I don't forget because I probably will. So, um, everything's kind of dirty. I apologize. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it's this red with this sort of, um, like fishnet stocking on here and they all have this little stiletto. Um, the blush that I have I believe is, ooh, it doesn't say on it, I think I have the rose. Um, but this is the color, it's kind of two-toned. So you've got this pink, lighter pink, kind of coily pink, and then this kind of like rose pink in the middle. I believe they call, it, call this color rose. I think there's either natural or pink also, but I think I got the rose color. So I'm just gonna kind of finish putting my blush on. Um, and this is definitely one of my favorite blushes. I do like this a lot. Everything is very um, shimmery. Um, there's nothing matte in it. Um, so yeah. But I just really like this color. I don't know how well any of this is going to show up. Hopefully the blush shows up. But it's very pretty. But like I said, I'm going to do a full review of swatches um, in another video. So next is the um, eyeshadow. It is just a quad. Oh, does it say on the side? It does. Yes, this is the Sexy Booster Sexy Glow blush in. I got the color rose. So... Hey everybody, sorry about that. Um, I forgot to delete the other stuff that was on this. So anyways, um, next up we have the eyeshadow. If there is only four colors in it. Um, normally I add on a matte transition, but, um, oh, sorry. I had to fix my camera and now my drawers are falling down. Um, anyways, um, but for the interest of this particular tutorial, since I'm just um, showing you guys what the final look looks like um, with just the products I'm skipping that so we've got a pinky champagne a very light taupe a brown and a black and they're pretty much all satin um, so the first thing that I am gonna do is just take a flat brush sort of flattish brush I'm gonna take it lightly into the taupey color and I'm gonna run this um, along the lower portion of lower portion of my lid. Just kind of a sweep of color because I'm also going to use this as my transition a little bit heavier on the eye. Um, so this is going to be a very shimmery eye look. So that's why I tend to... What am I doing next? That's why I tend to... Um, use a matte transition color. 
Um, next I'm going to use the lighter color, the highlighter color with an even flatter shader brush. And I am going to take that color to the inner rim of my eye. The inner rim? No. The inner corner, this inner corner, kind of highlight it right around the tear duct. And then I'm also going to take some a little bit up on that inner corner or the inner lower, the inner, like the inner third, the inner third. I can't talk. I don't know why, but I can't talk. Um, just to bring a, I don't know, just because I like it. <laughs> That's how I like to do it. Um, so I'm going to take a denser blending brush. Mom? Yes? I have here. Oh, thank you. I love it. Okay, that won't me film, okay? I want to see. Not right now, okay? Please. Not this time. Next video. Next video, yeah. okay? I promise. Let mommy finish. I'm going to have to keep staring at you. Okay. Okay, okay but you, have to, you can stare, but you have to be quiet. So I'm going to take a denser blending brush. I'm going to go back into that taupey color. And I'm going to put it kind of into the crease and kind of up higher on the brow bone. And just work it like a transition color. And I'm going to add just a tap of that brown also just to give it a little bit of depth because I feel like you just kind of need a transition color and this palette doesn't really have that. Uh, so we're just going to take that in like that. So that's what we have so far. Okay, um, next what I'm going to take is um, a fluffier blending brush. And we're gonna go into that dark brown. Is this the one I was using? No, I take it back. I'm taking a shader brush. This is from Real Techniques. This is their shading brush. If you're tired, lay go lay down. Oh, well, I will help you later. I told you I'm filming right now. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna take the shader brush first into that brown. I'm gonna work it kind of on the outer third of the eye. Building it up. And then we're going to go into the crease. And we're going to kind of take it up and almost kind of wing it a little bit on the outside and then run it. Hey, you can hear her in the background. I'm sorry. She's not. What did you say? Nothing. Keep it down. Okay. You can kind of see. I'm kind of taking it straight up and then kind of tapering it down. I'm just kind of building up that intensity until I have it where I want it. You can go really really intense with these colors and they actually do blend pretty well which is nice okay now we're going to take the fluffier blending brush and we're going to go into the black and then we're just going to deepen up just the outer the outer corners and just slightly like a third of the way in Everybody likes drama. You guys know I like more dramatic makeup. Drama, drama, drama. Okay. So that's the eye. Um, so now I'm just going to take um, a pencil brush. Just a little pencil brush into the brown. I'm going to take this across the bottom. I'm going to meet it up with that lighter color that we put in there. And then I'm going to take just a teeny bit of the black and I'm just going to run it on the outer third on top of that brown. I'm going to take that shader brush again and just kind of blend and smoke that out a little bit. A little bit more black. Come 
on my eyeball. That's gross. Okay, so that's good. So that's the lower. Um, okay, so now onto eyeliners. They have um, two different eyeliners now. They have a trio, and they just came out with also a liquid liner. So I'm going to kind of use a combination of almost everything. Um, so first I'm going to take the liquid eyeliner. It comes like this. Let's shake it up. Um, this is a little bit sheer, unfortunately, so I'm going to top it with the other liquid liner that comes in the trio that's like a pen. But... I'm going to start with this one because um, the tip is a lot thinner on this one, so it's easier for me to get it on my eyes, um, and then I kind of top it with the other one. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a wing that works for my eye. And again, if you hear noise in the background, I apologize. My daughter's in here still. And she's trying to get attention. I'm not trying to get attention, Mom. You're not? You're kind of acting like it. I'm not. Uh, okay, so I just have to kind of try and make see with my wing. Even with the other one, it probably won't be. Sorry about that. Leave my makeup alone. Okay. So there's that. Oh, I forgot to tight line. Okay, we'll do that next. I was wondering why it seemed different from the first eye. Like, hmm, something's off. Okay. Tight lining. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tight line the upper and the lower rim using um, their liner. And I went ahead and did the lower um, eye too. I almost did more of a neutral one, but I was like, nah. Ow. Don't need a tight line, my actual eyeball. Um, but yeah, I just decided to go ahead and do them both. Okay, that looks better. Okay. So, um, this is the liner with just the liquid, and then they also have, like, this pen, and see that tip is a little bit darker, but this is actually a lot darker liquid black than what's in the liquid liner, so I'm just going to kind of top it off, just so it's a little bit darker black. But I like to sort of sketch out with the other color because this one's a little bit um, thicker. And I kind of messed up it when I went over it, but it's a little wet. So I just want to make sure. Okay. So there's that. And then. Betsy, shh. Sorry. No, I'm not. Um, so they have two different mascaras now. I put this one on. I'll talk about them both in the video. This is the newer one. Um, and it has like a really sort of funky looking wand. Um, I totally forgot that I was going to do this. And so I put, oh man. I got transfer. Um, I put some other mascara on earlier today. So... I do already have a different, totally different mascara on that I'm putting this on top of. But it's still pretty good.
I didn't let it dry enough. The liner, and I got some transfer. I hate it when that happens. Let's see if I have something I can clean it up with. Cooper, Cooper. This is just what happens sometimes. We have put it on. Yep, I just licked it, but it's totally clean. I just pulled it out of the wrapper. I just need to... Okay. Crisis averted. Oh, I forgot to do my lower lashes. Can I have that paper? I'm just kidding, it was actually mad. Okay. It treats you again. Okay. Okay. So there is, oops, blurry. There's the finished eyes. There's the first one I did. Um, okay, and so now for lips. This is the their liquid lip gloss lipstick thing. I can't hate it when they do this. It's the Sexy Booster Glossy Stain in the color red. Um, generally speaking, I do need to use a primer with a lip primer with that. I put a bunch of concealer on because I had a stain on. Um, so my lips are a little bit on the pink side. Um, I'm also going to use the NYX Dark Red Excuse me, lip liner, um, but this will bleed on me, even though it's supposed to be a stain, it will bleed on me because it, it doesn't set matte, it stays a little bit glossy, so it, it will bleed if I don't do a stain. Or, do you know what I mean? Primer, if I don't do a primer. So I'm just going to do a little bit of lip liner for this. just to sort of um, hopefully lock that area down so it doesn't bleed. I'm tilting my head and it's making my liner crooked. My lips aren't totally symmetrical, so um, I tend to do a liner to help out with that. So this has kind of like this strange doe foot applicator shape. I don't know how you can see that. It's sort of like thick and then it's thin to the side. So this is, it's red. Um, I think, I feel like it's a little bit more on the berry red side, but I still, I do like the color, generally speaking, and it's got a lot of pigmentation. Do you still use this? Yeah. You need to leave my, all my makeup stuff alone. Mm. Just 
a little bit more on. I should have blended out my liner a little bit. So it's kind of peeking through a little more than I thought it would be. Um, the NYX pencil liners in plush red is actually a really good match to this. So, um, but there's the lipstick. I like it. So this is the final look. Hopefully you can see the blush and stuff okay. Um, so yeah, it's a really fun line. It's really pretty. Like I said, I'm going to do a full review for it. That's why I didn't really talk too much about pros and cons for everything. In this video, I just really wanted this to be more of the final look. Um, I'm just making sure everything looks even. Oops, I know I first you. Highlight. Hello. Um, okay, so we're going to use the lightest color. I thought something seemed missing. I was going to use it to kind of highlight a little bit. So. If you do use all of it, um, you will be quite frosty. And then I'm going to use it on my blush brush just to highlight. Um, the blush is really like shimmery enough that you don't really need it much highlight. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this and I...